Well, this is a first, doing an overview video as a launch to a Nod series. We're going to be looking at the GT Nod. Hi, I'm Warren, and you're watching Toy Fishing. And today I'll be introducing you to the GT Nod. How many variants are out there to the GT Nod? If there ever was a competition for the amount of knots with the same name, well, today we've definitely got the winner the GT Nod, hands down. There I thought it would be easy just to show you how to tie the GT knot, but in fact all I ended up doing was opening a massive can of worms. So, we just finished the series on the Slim Beauty knot, where upon researching the knot we ended up with three variations to the knot, which I thought might be slightly confusing. Now we've got the GT knot, and would you believe it, there are four variations to the knot and the last one will certainly get you thinking and wondering what's up with this. Do fishing knots actually end up being like Chinese whispers around the globe where you can tell and show one person here and a few years later on the other side of the world you've got a brand new variant. Right let's take a look at all four variants quickly and then I'll summarize each variant and which knots I'll be reviewing as we look into these GT knots. All right, variant one, I'll call this variant the actual GT knot. This knot was used in an Igford knot test on heavy gauge line. The results were published on the internet. How to tie the knot was shown also. Basically, you tie a bimini twist in the braid main line. Then you tie a figure of eight knot with an extra wrap in the leader line. Then feed the double braid line through the figure of eight knot. Then you weave the leader line over the braid line over and under then finally coerce and cinch the knot up. So not only was this knot tied in an egg for competition, but I also found it in a video on YouTube dating back to the 11th of April, 2011. Check this out. Right, variant two, I'll call this variant the viral GT knot. If you search the GT knot on YouTube, this variant will be the most viewed and has the most amount of videos also. I'm talking about millions of views. Basically, this variant is a figure of eight knot with an extra wrap in the leader line. Then take the braid line and pass it through the leader knot and tie a uni knot with the braid line. Right, variant three, I'll call this the garbage version. It's basically the viral version tied with a double overhand knot. Again, as we had with the Slim Beauty knot, there's a lot of these instructional videos showing a double overhand knot as a figure of eight knot. These knots are different. The one unwinds, the other does not. It's interlinked. And in fact, not only that, but if you do tie this knot, it's actually called a Kanit Buffer knot. And you can find that on YouTube. Basically, a double overhand knot to a uni knot. Oh, just by the way, I only called this knot the garbage knot as I do get frustrated with the continued confusion shown in videos with the figure of eight knot and the double overhand knot. I've not tested this knot, so I don't know how good the Kanit buffer knot is. Right, variant four. So this is the version that'll shock you. If I asked anyone today, what is the FG knot? They would say, it's that knot where you interlock the braid line around the leader line. Right. So now if you search the FG knot on YouTube and sort the videos in ascending order, you'll find the oldest video on YouTube as the 24th of December 2016. And it shows you the FG knot as we know it. Right, then search the FG fishing knot. The oldest video you'll find is the FG knot being tied with some old school knot tying device and dated the 18th of June 2010. Right, so that's slightly weird. As you'd think, the same search with the FG might bring up similar videos. That's a weird occurrence on the YouTube search engine. All right, moving on. This is where I'll show you something that's really, really interesting. Now search the GT knot, arrange them in ascending order. You'll find a video dated the 7th of November, 2007. And if you look at that video, you'll see an old school, probably VHS video with some Aussie guy tying what we call the FG knot. So explain that. I was shocked to tell you the truth. In fact, they called it the Japanese GT knot. Go figure that. <laughs> it might be an Aussie thing, who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> right, I think what happened with knot names in general is back in the day when I started fishing, you opened a book and the author showed you a sketch, how to tie the clinch knot. 
And that was gospel because it was printed and said in black and white, this is the clinch knot. Then along came the internet and braid lines and less books were written because everyone started doing a video or writing a blog, etc. Oh, and this is the clinch knot. So then you get more people showing more people in different languages in different parts of the world and new videos start doing videos of what their GT knot looks like. And next thing you know, there are a bunch of GT knot videos on the market. And even people like myself who were taught the viral version of the GT knot in the early days of the Black Tip Challenge, possibly seven or eight years ago, and now have even done an improved version of the viral GT knot. So, do we now define a knot by its popularity and how many views and people watch the video, or do we define it by the date on the YouTube video or the last magazine article or blog post? Oh, I did try and research names to knots on Google, but unfortunately people update their websites and info, so there wasn't the traceability as we have here on YouTube. So we've got four variants. The FG Old GT video variant, I'll leave as the FG, as this I'm guessing most of us will refer to as the FG knot. Variant three, well, that is clearly another knot and also the incorrect leader knot. Right, variant two is super quick to tie, but may possibly be on the weak side. So again, I might even add another variant here, don't laugh, and tie it with a doubled up piece of braid and test this prior to releasing whether a single or double is better in the viral GT knot. Similar to what we did in the Slim Beauty knot. Right, variant one. Well, this is a fairly long winded knot. Not sure a lot of people often have time to tie a bimini also. However, I think this knot will be strong. Right, so going forward with the GT knot, it may be useful to refer to them as the viral GT knot and the actual GT knot, of which I'll be looking at both of them and reviewing both of them. So, <laughs> little mini competition there. And also, interestingly, many earlier videos often refer to the knot used for catching giant trevally with poppers. Guess that's where the name came from, the giant trevally knot. Hope you enjoyed that and hopefully you also enjoyed the small history lesson on the Chinese whisper GT knot. It's going to be good to see how these two knots perform. I've actually used the viral GT knot for many years now with both a double piece of braid and a single braid and it has served me well. But is it the strongest? For that we're going to have to wait for the episode or two episodes of the world's strongest fishing knot. Two knots to review there, both the GT knot, kind of something different. Tight lines, I hope you enjoyed that and really looking forward to the two episodes of the How To and the two episodes of the World's Strongest Fishing Knot. See how those knots clash up against each other. Um, got a feeling the Bimini one might pip it, but you never know with the smaller lines, the other one might do really well. Um, who knows? So uh, looking forward to doing that and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time this evening. And take care. Cheers, man.